everyone, it's Claire back again. We're going to go through my favourite greys today. Um, excuse my nails, I've got the Essence Polish I Care About You on this hand and various um, polishes that I've just hauled today in the TK Maxx Ridiculous Haul. Um, I don't know whether this will go out before that or not, I think probably after. Um, but this kind of complements the, the colour series. Um, but going past the colours of the rainbow, we, we've done neutrals and I'm going to look at greys and silvers today. Um, so I'm going to show you, I couldn't again narrow it down to a top 10, but I didn't want to do part one and part two. So I've actually got, I think, 12, 13 polishes to show you and I want to swatch them as well. Um, so we will start with the OPIs. I've actually got five OPIs to show you. This first one here is from the winter, last year's winter collection, which was very kind of silvery, glittery, oh, wrong one, very silvery, glittery. And it's called No More Mr. Night Sky. So yeah, I like the name and also it's a very dark gunmetal grey but um, quite a, a hefty glitter going on in there. Um, and from what I can remember, I have worn this um, and I do like it. It's pretty opaque. No, maybe not. It's going to need two coats. But the, you can see the shimmer in it. So that's... No more Mr. Night Sky. Um, the next one that I want to show you is, um, I, I love this, I love wearing this. Um, greys are, are some of my favourite colours to wear any time of year. Um, and this is I Don't Give a Rotterdam um, from the Dutch collection, Holland collection, probably about three years ago now. Um, there's another one that I really want actually from this collection um, and it's called I Have a Herring Problem <laughs> uh, which is a, similar to this but more of a shimmery blue and this does, again it needs, uh, it's a great formula but it's not one coat by any stretch it's definitely going to need two um, so we'll come back to that this is Push and Shove, which is uh, one of the Gwen Stefani polishes. Um, and this is the infamous, there is a base coat that goes with this, but I think for the purposes of the swatch, we're just going to see how it goes. This is a super metallic one, one coater. Yeah, I was going to say one swipe, but um, we'll see how that goes on the swatch wheel. Let me get a bit more focus here. So that's push and shove and you think, oh, it's still, it looks quite cloudy. It's actually when it dries down, don't know how it's going to dry on the swatch, but it does dry, not completely like a mirror. Um, but it is a super, super shiny reflective effect. Um, and we'll start to see that forming, yeah, there as it dries down. Focus isn't great on this. Mm, we'll see if we can pick, ah, there we go. So that's no more Mr. Night Sky. I don't give a Rotterdam. You can see the shimmer in both. And the push and shove metallic one coater. Um, the next one that I have here is Haven't the Foggiest, which I think was from the San Francisco collection. Um, and again, this is the one that I thought I picked up first. It's a very opaque gunmetal metallic silver grey. Uh, 
and I have got um, I've got a Morgan Hunt that's very similar to this, that kind of dark silver. Um, and this last one here is um, oh, I've picked up. I've got two of these. I've got one that I bought a couple of years ago, and one that Nika sent me from Nails by a Newbie, and it's. Oh, uh, it's totally Fort Worth it. <laughs> I was thinking of the of bridges and dams and things, but yeah, it's uh, totally Fort Worth it. Um, and this is quite a sheer polish. You have to build it up in two in well, I would say three coats. But it does have this very delicate duochrome that goes to. Uh, a pink with a pinky shimmer in there um, and when you build it up once you've built it up it looks great so that's the five OPIs um, and this next one here is a china glaze and this is a very I call this an elephant grey so it's a taupey grey greyy colour but it's very it's quite pale um, and it's called Change Your Altitude from last year's, I think, Autumn Fall collection. And it's just, it's a lovely neutral, but it's just the fact that it's got that, it's a kind of nudie grey. Great formula. Almost one coat but um, you can still see a little bit of the nail line. This next one here is the Smiths and Cult which I featured a couple of times in my videos and this is from Anne in Paris. And yeah I'm just thinking about France actually that today was the horrible news everywhere all over the news um, about the attack in Nice, the celebration for Bastille Day and it was just, yeah, it just, it's terrible. So my thoughts go out to everybody who's affected by this horror and terror. But anyway, um, that's, that's the beautiful Smith and Colt from Anne. Um, at absolutely amazing formula and I just love this bottle. It's just so cool. It's a little tiny drop of blue or grey in there, I think. Um, the next one, so we've gone from high end to this is budget brand. Um, and this is an essence gel polish. Um, and this is called Rock My World. Um, and it's a very dark grey. And again, the, these great flat brushes, whoops. Look, just look how opaque that is. Reminds me of the dark grey polish in um, the Fifty Shades of Grey OPI collection. I think it was called Dark Side of the Mood or Dark Side of the Moon, um, which was a really nice dark grey like this um, with like a dash of brown I think in there like a brownie dark brownie grey um, this is a great formula the OPI was terrible <laughs> really streaky how you needed like three four coats to get it opaque my my bottle anyway it was one of the mini ones um, that I got in a, a gift set this next one here is a Rimmel Salon Pro, Salon Pro I don't know why I always say Salon Salon Pro um, and this is Moon. This is one of the first polishes that I got again when um, I just started collecting and picking up the odd polish here and there from um, Boots or from Tesco's when I was doing my weekly shopping. And again, this is just a really lovely, smooth, opaque, darker grey, but not too dark. And yeah, there's some really great formulas actually in the in the cheaper brands. The next one I've got here is one of my Zoyas. Um, I've only got I've got oh, 
I won't say how many, but quite a few polishes. But I, it's strange. I've only got about five or six of the of the Zoyas. Um, just I think what put me off the Zoyas was the, one of the first ones I got was um, Charisma, which just for me had a really horrible formula, and it kind of put me off Zoyas. It had a chalky matte formula. Um, that yeah, wasn't impressed with that. So I suppose it was just bad luck that that was my first Zoya. But this is the one. This is lovely. This is one of the satins. So this will dry, kind of semi matte satin. Um, and the next one to show you is an Essie, and this is this has got a little bit of blue in here, but predominantly a grey, and it's got this really pretty shimmer. And this is Parker Perfect. And I've worn this quite a few times. Really nice formula. And you can see, see if we can see it in the camera. Yeah, you can see that shimmer. It's just glistening a little bit there, if you can see that. It's lovely. And the last one is from the Nailed London brand. Um, I've shown you this collection, but I just want to show you again. Nice flat brush, great formula, really opaque for a paler colour. It's, I mean, it's going to need two coats, but it's a lovely formula. So do we need to go back through any here? Uh, that was the... Mm, yeah, I can't remember which I'd started with there, No More Mr Night Sky. I'm just going to put another coat on this quickly to show you how it deepens quite a bit. I'm knocking this camera over everywhere. That was the I don't give a Rotterdam. I was just wondering what that noise was outside. It's kids coming back from school, I think. So yeah, you can see the the shimmer there on I don't give a Rotterdam. This one is the push and shove and it's really not dried. It's If you can see on the edges there, that's more how it dries on the nail. It's obviously doesn't like the plastic, it's reacting badly to the plastic on the swatch wheel. Um, this one was the, I uh, haven't got, haven't the foggiest. Um, I'm not going to put another coat on that, that's fairly opaque. I think it, I'm just showing you to see the colour and I think you can see the colours. Uh, yeah, that would, I'll just go over this one again, the noodle one. Is it noodle? No, eye candy. Uh, and I, I also forgot to tell you what the Zoya was called. Oh and my god, and everything actually. <laughs> the Zoya is called Tove. Uh, Parker Perfect, I told you about. The Smiths and Cult is called Bitter Buddhist. The Essence, I think I showed you, is Rock My World. Yeah, I think I've shown you everything else. <laughs> Let me know if not. But just mind went completely blank. I think I'm just more concerned about making sure that I actually get the polish on the swatch wheel and that you're able to get a good look at these greys. Uh, and then I go and smudge everything. Um, but yeah, uh, a selection there from dark greys, pale greys, silvers and metallic silvers. Um, greys with that shimmer and um, different finishes, mattes and super glossies. Um, yeah, I really like greys. Like I say, I wear and wear them all year round. Maybe it's got something to do with the surname, I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, oh, look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> I need a tissue. Right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.